U.S. played critical role in Crimean bridge attacks. Washington enabled both Ukrainian attacks on the Kirsch Bridge, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Seymour Hirsch claimed. The Biden administration's role in both attacks was vital, he declared on his sub-stack. Of course, it was our technology, an American official told Hirsch, referring to the drone that damaged the bridge on July the 17th. The drone was remotely guided and half-submerged, like a torpedo. Hirsch did not identify his source, but his latest post was described as a look at recent events in Ukraine from the point of view of those in the American intelligence community who don't feel they have the ear of President Joe Biden, but should. Asked if the US intelligence community considered the possibility of Russian retaliation for the bridge attack, Hirsch's source replied, we don't think that far. Our national strategy is that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky can do whatever he wants to do. There's no adult supervision, he added. A truck bomb exploded on the Crimean bridge in early October 2022. The bridge was seriously damaged and required months of repairs. The July drone attack damaged the bridge. Kiev celebrated both attacks but officially denied any responsibility. U.S. intelligence quickly attributed the October truck bombing to Ukrainian intelligence, however. The intelligence of Ukraine's main intelligence agency finally took credit for the blast earlier this week. Washington has supposedly asked Kiev not to use US-provided weapons to strike Russian territory, but insists that Crimea as well as the regions of Kherson, Zaporozhye, Donetsk and Lugansk are actually Ukrainian territory and therefore legitimate targets. This amounts to complete permissiveness for Kiev and risks escalating the conflict, Russia's ambassador to the US warned in January.